Hi, and welcome to Tech Talk, the banker's video series on everything fintech. I'm Joy McKnight, technology editor at The Banker, and I'm here with Grace Cassie, who's co-founder of Cylon, a London-based cyber accelerator. Thanks so much for joining us it's today. It's a pleasure, Joy. Can you tell me a little bit about Cylon, at, you know, why you decided to start it up, and you know, what, what it's been doing? Sure. So Cylon is a three-month-long structured accelerator program, which means that we provide a program of support to very early stage companies uh, to help them with everything from building a business plan, developing their product market fit, to meeting customers, to understanding better how to pitch investors, and we hope uh, to also introduce them to potential customers who might uh, develop a proof of concept with them or, or indeed buy their product um, you know, without needing to go through a proof of concept stage. Okay. Um, and why is it that London is such a hub for cybersecurity? Well, our thesis when uh, my co-founders and I took the decision to, to set up Cylon was that the UK and London in particular was a really great place to build a cybersecurity business. The UK benefits from fantastically strong research universities in this space. We have a wealth of technical talent. We have, of course, you know, a hugely strong financial services sector, but it's not just financial services actually. There's, you know, every industry now needs to think about cybersecurity, whether it's healthcare or industrial or uh, retail or e-commerce, anything now. We need to think about cybersecurity uh, in the digital age. So the strength of the UK economy as a whole was one of the reasons why we felt this was a good place to, to, to establish Cylon. And, uh, you know, in particular, our financial services sector is, I think, alive to the threat mm -hmm. and is therefore, uh, you know, particularly receptive to learning about innovative solutions in this space and to, uh, you know, deploying uh, new solutions that might help them to serve their customers better. What sort of industry developments, whether technology or new business models, have you seen recently? In terms of the trends on uh, within technology itself, uh, we see people understanding that human factors are as important as technological factors when it comes to your information security. So you could, for example, have a fantastic layered security model in your organisation with a great firewall and excellent security procedures but you just need to have one member of staff who makes a mistake or perhaps deliberately tries to take information from you and it can, it can get around your, your excellent technological defences. So we have seen a very interesting development of uh, solutions directed at understanding that human threat, particularly because employees now of course have very um, broad digital footprints online. There's a lot of information about people online, people's uh, personal information is more widely spread online, it's shared more, more easily and all of that makes each employee potentially more vulnerable to, to cyber attacks. So we have had companies come through our program who for example help companies to train their employees better to recognise phishing attacks against them and to, to gamify that with their colleagues to you know, tr try to hack each other essentially as a, as a way of building awareness. We've also had uh, companies which have built very sophisticated systems of scoring an individual cyber risk. So looking at somebody's activity and helping to give, if, if you like, a kind of Experian style credit score, but for your cyber risk. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think this is only going to become a more important trend with changes in compliance, changes in how financial institutions are being expected to, to monitor and understand the activities of all those who operate within their walls. So I think that the, you know, the human factors, I would say, is a, is a really interesting area that's, that's developed in the last year or so. Can I ask, though, the, you know, there's all this buzz around blockchain. Yeah. You know, um, have you seen sort of an increase in companies, startups, mm -hmm. looking at blockchain as a way to solve cybersecurity? We have started to see an increase, yes. It's, it's, um, I think the promise of blockchain has been talked about for quite some time, and it's only, I think, quite recently that we've started to see some more practical applications of, of blockchain in the security context. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of companies through our sign-on program who have uh, come up with very innovative ways to apply blockchain within 
the context of security. How engaged are the banks with the accelerator? We have found that the banks generally have been very interested in what we're doing. Um, like I say, I think the financial services as a sector gets this problem and there's a lot of talent within the banks in their IT and information security and compliance departments who really do understand that this is a problem. So I think we've had a lot of interest. What's been interesting to us though from our own particular experience at Cylon is that probably the, the part of financial services that has shown most interest in us is insurance. Okay. Both from the point of view of their, their own risk but also from the point of view of building more innovative products to understand how to price cyber risk better. Mm. So I would say that insurance and payment providers have, have really come and engaged with us and you know, we, we've had interest from, from the large banks but there's always room for more. Excellent, thank you so much Grace. It's a pleasure.